And here we have, coming to the cage, Colton, the Bullet, t Arena, fighting out of ATT Beaumont, age 22 with a record of one and three, five foot five, 125 pounds. This will be his fifth fight this year, so he is coming in in shape, ready to get it on against his opponent tonight with Daniel Pete. Interesting story yesterday when I spoke to Colton as far as his nickname, The Bullet. He had let me know that about three years ago he got shot and that life-changing experience altered him to want to start to train, to live his goals through his life. He started training immediately after this life-changing experience. And interestingly enough, the bullet is still lodged into his right peck. Wow. And so that's where he earned that nickname, Colton the Bullet T Arena. Former soccer player turned mixed martial arts fighter. Been training mixed martial arts for the past four years. Please welcome to the cage, Daniel Pete. We need the EMT officials to cage side. We need EMT to cage side. Coming to the cage, Daniel Pete representing Gracie Umada. The 1 0 amateur record, looking to keep his unbeaten streak alive. Looking to extend it to 2 0. 19 years old. This will be his fight. His last fight was August of this year. Been training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai for the past three years. Taekwondo black belt has aspirations to make mixed martial arts into a career. You get past Colton the Bullet T Arena. Stay on the right track. Head coach Sean Key in his corner. Daniel Pete ready for action. Ladies and gentlemen, your opening contest is scheduled for three rounds in the cage combat flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, five inches tall, and weighing 128 pounds. There we go. Representing America, top team, Beaumont. This is Colton Tijarina. And introducing his opponent. Careful. Fighting out of the red corner. Standing five feet, six inches tall, he weighing 127 pounds. Representing Gracie Humada. He has an amateur record of one win, no losses. This is Daniel Pease. <laughs> Your official inside the case, Jeff Brixrow. And Jeff Rexroad makes it official. Colton, the Bullet Tirina versus Daniel Pete. There you see Daniel Pete switching up his stances here and there, working the double underhooks against the cage. Trying to advance his position, Mr. Pete. Seeing if he can take Tirina to the ground, and Tirina escapes. Action in the center of the cage. Look for a lot of spinning back kicks from Sean from Daniel Pete. That traditional martial arts background that he has, you'll see him often switch his stance. Once again, we have the fighters working for position against the cage. Chiarina trying to pry Pete off. Pete doing a good job keeping those double underhooks. Now we break back into the center of the cage. Pete working hard for that takedown. Keep pressuring T Arena. Looking to take this to the ground if he possibly can. Showing aspects of him being a true mixed martial artist. He can throw some unorthodox strikes and mix it up in the ground game with grappling. 
Tirena working hard to try to work back to the inside, see if he can get something going. And Pete keeps smothering Tirena against the cage. Possible restart from Rexroll. He's looking at it hard, seeing if he, there's no improvements here soon. And Pete opts to take it back to the center of the cage. These two young amateur fighters, 19 years old in Pete, 22 years old in T-Arena. Pete working those kicks. Once again, another kick by Pete with a hook kick. Now these two are throwing down. And letting them hands go, these two fighters. T-Arena doing a good job controlling the cage, having Pete against the cage, his back, and then Pete is able to turn the tide and get control once again. These two fighters swinging. We go Pete throwing a lot of kicks in this fight. Ten seconds left. Who can finish strong? Our first round is in the books. Saw a lot of that round with Pete backing up Tiarina into the cage. A couple of scrambles and flurries as far as punches and combinations are concerned between the two fighters. When speaking to Pete yesterday, he spoke about having aspirations to turning this into a career. Aspires one day to possibly be into the UFC. Asking what would be a perfect scenario finish. He said a flying knockout with a flying knee. Pete's last fight was a decision win in August, seeing if he get a stoppage under his belt, make his record 2-0. Tierina looking to get back on the winning side of things. Last fight was a loss by rear naked choke. And he's looking sharp tonight. Tierina controlling the cage right now. Back at Pete up into the cage, controlling the center of the cage right now. Tierina keeping those hands high. Now we're starting to see a little bit more kicks from Tiarina. And there's that spinning back kick by Daniel Pete with that Taekwondo background. Both of them just swung hard right there. Both of them miss. Covered nicely. Now they're getting back into the, into the mix of it. Big overhand right by Pete. Seeing if he can back Tiarina back into the cage again. Tiarina shakes him off. Seeing some nice composure between these two young fighters. Another flying kick there by Pete. Showing off, the, displaying that Taekwondo background he told me about yesterday. Been doing Taekwondo since he was 12 years old. Did it from 12 to 16. Tirina keeps stalking Pete against the cage. Tirina doing a better job this round and staying, keeping off keeping his back off the cage. Doing more of the stalking this round. Now he's got Pete backing up. Oh, body shot by Daniel Pete. And a knockout victory by Daniel Pete with a body kick. And Tiarina is still down, still in pain. Those body shots do not feel good. They paralyze you once you feel them. It takes all the wind out of you. It's like you cannot do anything. Daniel Pete landing that kick right to the body, earning himself a 
knockout victory in the second round. Improves to 2-0. and Tiarina was doing a good job that round, controlling much of the action in that, as in, in, in that particular round. If you were to argue that Pete won the first round, I think Tiarina was on his way to win the second until that brutal body kick by Daniel Pete just abruptly stopped the sec this fight. Here we have the official decision coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes one minute, 40 seconds. Into round number two for your winner by TKO, Daniel Pease. Good job to Daniel Pete. Look forward to seeing more of this young man's career in the future.